South Korea is paying lonely young people $500 a month to re-enter society. Students at the university campus in Seoul on March 2nd, 2023. Seoul, South Korea, CNN. Some South Korean youth are so cut off from the world that the government is offering to pay them to re-enter society. The Ministry of Gender Equality and Family announced this week that it will provide up to 650,000 Korean won, so about $500 per, per month, to isolate the social reclusives in a bid to support their psychological and emotional stability and health growth. About 3.1% of Koreans aged 19 to 39 are reclusive, lonely young people defined as living in a limited space in, in a state of being disconnected from the outside from more than a certain period of time and have notice, noticeable difficulty in living a normal life, according to a ministry's report, citing the Korea Institute for Health and Social Affairs. That makes up about 338,000 people across the country, with 40% beginning their isolation in adolescence, according to the ministry. By various factors are thought to be, up, to be at play, including financial hardship, mental illness, family problems, or health challenges. The new measures specifically target young people as part of the larger Youth Welfare Support Act, which aims to support people extremely withdrawn from society, as well as youth without a guardian or school protection who are at risk of delinquish, delinquish. the monthly allowance uh, will be available to reclusive lonely young people aged 9 to 24 who live in the household earning below the mean median national income defined in South Korea as about 5.4 million won, about $4,165 per month for the household of four people. The youth can apply for the program at a, a local administrative Welfare center, their guardians, counselors, or teachers can also apply on their be behalf. Reclusive youth can have slower physical growth due to the irregular living and unbalanced nutrition and are likely to face mental difficulties such as depression due to the loss of social laws and delayed adaptation, the ministry said, stressing the importance of active support. The report on Tuesday detailed several case studies, including one young student who had suffered from mental health issues and difficulties of socializing since adolescence. She struggled to adjust to college, ultimately choosing not to attend, and withdrew further into herself. Another student faced domestic violence and hunger at home, making, making it difficult for her to leave the house or form relationships with people outside. Neither individuals, individual was identified. The report will also detail the future plans for further action, such as distributing guidelines to local government boosting youth social safety net and early detection systems and working more closely with the youth welfare facilities like shelters or rehabilitation centers. Some cities and local governments already have similar systems in place. Seoul, the country's capital, has the reclusive youth support project that provides the mental health counseling hobby development and work training and life coaching for isolated young people. This phenomenon isn't unique to South Korea. Japan has a similar problem with nearly 1.5 million reclusive lonely young people who are known as hikikomori, 
according to the recent government survey. Some go out only to buy groceries or for occasional activities, while others don't even leave their bedrooms. The phrase was coined in Japan as early as the 1980s. Authorities in that country have expressed increasing concern over the issue for the past decade, but COVID-19 has made things worse, the survey found. Of those surveyed, more than a fifth a fifth cited the pandemic as the significant factor in their reclusive lifestyle. Other common regions cited were pregnancy, job loss, retirement, and having poor interpersonal relationships.